Hey subbies, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, hi, my name is Brenda, I'm a C5 complete tetraplegic, paralyzed chest down, and this is the tour of my house. So this house, I did not have it built, I actually just bought it because it was almost accessible for me. I got in using a portable ramp when I came to look at it, but then I added two permanent ramps. The ramp in the garage, I had to get it the way the VA required it to be, which is why it's pretty big, but you'll get a better look at it later. Starting with the doorbell, I'm able to get notifications and I'm able to see through my phone whenever somebody is standing in front of the door. I'm also able to lock and unlock the door from my phone. Okay, just a coat closet, which I filled with a lot of cleaning supplies because nobody really puts their coat away in here. Onto the living room. I just switched the fire on right here. Makes it easier for me. So a lot of the furniture in my house I got from wafer.com. It was very easy to look at all the options online. The only thing I didn't like was having to have everything assembled once it got to my house. The only thing I didn't get from there was my sofa. But choosing everything out online was pretty easy. So my house is an open floor plan which makes it very easy for me to not bump into walls for the most part even though I'm always speeding, so I end up scratching stuff anyways. But if you're not like me, having an open floor plan with the hardwood floors is so easy. Because at my mom's house, I knocked over stuff all the time. Here's where I keep all my dog stuff. Here's the pantry. And going on to the garage, here's the ramp I was talking about. So being very honest here, I did not invest any money into a good camera. That's why my videos are very mediocre. Also, I have a very amateur camera crew, but you got to work with what you got. So this is my laundry room. Right there on the table is um, the arm bike that I sometimes very rarely use. And I only have like a couple things stored in here, but everything else is just for laundry. And here you're able to see how wide the doors are for me. That way I'm not bumping into anything. Okay, so this room. So this is where I do my makeup, obviously, and where my office area is supposed to be, which I should be more on top of that because I have a lot of mail that piles up. But anyways, it's very spacious and my dogs love, love rolling around in that rug in the middle. Um, 
want very bright lights, but I can dim them down. Uh, I'm able to turn on the lights on and off using my little friend Alexa. And this table actually elevates up and down if I need to adjust it for my chair. You can also see my makeup brush holder and my messy yet organized makeup. I leave it out because it's already ready for me to use and I don't have to go digging for anything. But in the containers right here, everything's kind of just thrown in there. So it's plenty of space for my chair to go in and out either direction. And same with my computer table. Like the legs stick outwards, that way the bars don't get caught up where my wheels are. And those lights in French say, smile my friend. So these are actually two beds in one. There's mattress on the top, obviously, but at the bottom, in case I have extra people sleeping over, that pulls out. Which I, having a lot of family members come over the weekend sometimes, um, comes in very handy. So right here next to it is the guest bedroom. Ta-da! So this bed frame also sits up and lays back down. Just the remote's not working for some reason. And I keep a fan in here because I usually keep my house pretty hot because of my nerve pain, I'm always freezing. Has a very big spacious closet. I'm very happy with the way I decorated it. This and the rest of the house because I kept it very simple yet everything coordinates. Well, at least in my opinion. So this is the guest bathroom. I'm able to fit in it. I just can't get in the shower. Okay, so my bedroom, here we go. So here's my little bed. This one also sits up and lays back down with the feet as well. And here's my, my Hoyer lift, ceiling lift, and where my dogs sleep. wooden dresser and let me take you to the bathroom I decorated it very girly so the reason why I don't have a rolling sink like a, the sink I could easily just slide my chair under is because I rely a lot on help when it comes to like being able to pick up things. Plus it was gonna cost more money and I wanted to make that money go towards like the shower and the ramps and the ceiling lift. So that's why I kind of just left these sinks alone. Okay, and lastly, the skeletons in my closet. Okay, now you've seen enough. Now, shoot, get out of here. Bye. Hi, everyone. So, thank you for watching my video on my house tour. I do need to mention that. There is something that makes living independent so much easier for me, and that is technology. 
So I did have Alexa installed into my house. So there's a lot of things that she does for me. She's able to turn on my mirror light, which is right here in my vanity room. Also my ring light. She also controls my television. I can change the channels with her, add the volume if I want to, the living room light, the kitchen light, my bedroom light, my bedroom lamp, my closet, and my bathroom. And one thing that also does make it easier for me is being able to control my thermostat and doorbell as, as well. So if somebody rings on my door, I'm able to see who it is, unlock the door for them. And having those things has made it so much easier for me because before I had to rely on asking someone to turn on the light for me, turn off the light, change the, ther the thermostat. So I got to give technology credit. And also the bed i'm able to control my bed with my phone because it's a sleep number so uh, i used to have the hospital bed back in the day but it made so much noise so i decided to just switch to a different type of bed and i, I like it so i do try to make things as easy as possible for me although i still do rely on other people for the most part but a little bit goes a long way for me but yeah that, that's all i wanted to say so thank you so much and have a blessed day